hello so this is a get ready with me video and in this video i am going to be talking about law and dating what it really is like for us lawyers in the dating world us law students however it is you're affected by law so if you are interested in this video stay tuned i have a lot to say actually So I'm going to be recreating a look, a very simple look because I'm not a makeup artist. I'm going to be recreating a look I saw on Instagram from a makeup artist called Davina M Pro. So I'm going to be leaving the picture to what I'm recreating somewhere in the video while you just, well, I mean while I just you, while we just, so let's get right into the video. The video. So. Dating as a law student is actually not the problem because your respect, your respect as a female because you are approachable. You are approachable because you haven't gotten the law degree yet and you're still young and fresh and you have the potential of being a lawyer. Potential can be very attractive. Then you're a male law student, you're actually a spec because you are approachable because honestly you don't have the degree yet plus your potential salary easy with nice dressing the corporate white and black every day you know now people in other faculties really dressed as put together as we did so when you join the potential the nice dressing nice everything put together you are a spec but the real coco comes in when you become a lawyer <laughs> it is not the same I'm going to be talking about the dating as it affects men and women but I'm going to be tilting more to the female side because I'm the female so I'm going to be talking about the age factor the age factor as you know is actually more favorable to men because I don't know it's like the older men get the sweeter their wine tastes to people yes usually I think women reach their peak like peak of attraction and this and that before men so that's usually the age where they like to get married and begin to have children and start off their life but men tend to have it nicer the older they get so as you know law takes quite some time to study six to seven years whether you're in nigeria or you're in, or you're outside nigeria so say for instance you were unlucky post UME and you got into school in your early 20s that means you are likely going to be ending your schooling in your early 30s or almost in your 30s so and you know how it is seen especially in Nigeria once a woman is way past a certain age as you guys know she's begin to she's begin uh, but really affects you as a woman as a lawyer woman you know especially if you enter school late or people begin to see you as old uh, and uh, the law profession doesn't actually even give us that liberty to delve so seriously into the dating world now the next thing I'm, I'm going to be talking about is the money factor this is where women get lucky because most times you never really find a man getting married because his wife to be is financially capable of starting a home particularly in nigeria women are luckier with the money issue everything honestly I i'm going to be honest everything is honestly usually pushed to the man to handle and this is where the men get it worse because young lawyers are never paid well i'm going to tell you i can tell you here that most taxi men and modern lawyers in my level at the entry level or some stages or years higher than the entry level because i'm going to give you a calculation so if a taxi man makes 500 naira every 30 minutes so in an hour he makes 1000 naira and so there are 24 hours in a day and let's say he works for 12 hours so when you calculate it that is 12,000 naira he has made in a day now let's take off the expense of buying fuel for the car and um, whatever he needs to do let's just
just say he takes off 5,000 naira every day, obviously, which is not possible. So, I saw 5,000 times 30, that is 5,000 naira every day. Of course, I know it's, it's going to be more than 5,000 because he necessarily won't be spending 5,000 every day fueling, scar, and preparing whatever it is. But let's say he gets 5,000 naira, obviously, which is more times 30. That is 30 days in in the in a month. That is 150,000 naira. And should I tell you the starting fee for lawyers in the entry level usually it won't go way past 40,000 naira. I'm a copper now. I honestly will tell you I don't end. I honestly, apart from the fact that uh, the federal government pays me, I do not end that much is the grace of God that's been keeping me and it's not just go right into that but what I'm trying to say is the money factor it's, it's, it, it hits the men more you see a, a young man telling you he can't go and date someone he really likes now because he doesn't have one and sometimes we women don't make it easy we are overly demanding we want this we want that we want to buy this we want to that and so the next factor is the looks factor you know, lawyers are placed on this pedestal of fashion impeccability. You see jokes and um, skits and memes saying, oh, if your lawyer's shoe is perhaps a bit eaten under the sole, your lawyer won't represent you well or you're likely to fail or some sort of, if your lawyer looks a certain way, your case is going to go bad. So, as you can see, lawyers are put on some sort of impe impeccable fashion pedestal that is almost unattainable and unbelievable most lawyers are usually based on their look you need to keep up with a certain level you shouldn't enter okada you shouldn't you should wear suits and not sweat in it like your makeup should still be intact while you're walking around in your suit like and then when you see a lawyer per se sweating on the bike you feel like ah this one is charge and bill so like that's actually an insult to lawyers in the charge and bill department because people when you're charged to court and people come to bail until you get into prison and you are you into jail not prison until you get into jail and you you see the environment and realize how unhabitable and uncomfortable it is you will never really appreciate lawyers that come to bail you from the jail in summary the better you look as a lawyer, whether male or female, the higher your chances of dating someone. And there is the gender factor. Usually and honestly, the fact that you're a lawyer, a female lawyer, just I don't know, throws you off the scale. Many people believe lawyers are rude, particularly the female lawyers, and they make horrible wives. Uh, a lawyer will never have time for your children. A lawyer is rude. She will never respect you. So, I don't know, dating, dating as a lawyer, as a female lawyer, actually, I would say it was easier getting people or meeting people as a law student than it is meeting people as a lawyer. The males, they tend to get it better in this aspect. I mean, the next thing you, you're hearing is, he's even a lawyer when she wants to post to her friend. I'm dating a lawyer and all, but when it comes to we women, you hear, oh, she won't respect you, she won't take care of the kids, and it's not easy. It's not fair that you're just judged. You know, someone doesn't really want to get to know the inner part of you or what your character is like. You're just being judged for being a female lawyer. It's like the way people just judge pastors, like every pastor is a thief or every priest is a homosexual pedophile. The next factor that affects lawyers while dating is this unfair pedestal for judgment. I mean, you're not allowed to make mistakes. The moment you make a mistake, it's like, oh, did you even study law? Or you didn't pronounce a word well? Or you didn't get to hear something, a new rule that came out, a new statute that came out, or he, he or he or she, whoever it is you're dating, read something from the American jurisdiction, the person that comes to ask you and per se you don't know. You're being looked at like an all-knowing God. So the moment you start 
maybe saying you don't know some things because you don't want to lie or give wrong answers they are now beginning to look at you like ah, did you really go to law school this law school you went to this did you pass what did you do to pass so like we're actually really judged unfairly all the time all the time i mean many people once they ask you a question and you start saying something like ah let me get back to you i'm not sure they begin to look at you like ah, this one that doesn't know anything if i start dating her she will ruin my life or i don't know what it is that we think someone that doesn't know well you get my point so the next factor i'm going to be talking about is that people are not always real with you if you're a lawyer and you're watching this you know what i'm talking about obviously people are never really real with you sometimes people just like you because you're a lawyer you know they don't like you because you are who you are or because you're nice or because of something mental in you you know something smart about you they just like the fact that you're a lawyer you know you go on dates the person is asking you so why did you choose law so how is law so when are you getting your PhD so when I get to your masters, so that when they get one, they, they, they can say, she has a PhD in law mom, or she has a PhD in law that's so, all. If you're a lawyer and you're in the dating world, per se you don't already have someone you actually like and actually likes you, you get to, you know that people who most times don't really like you because of you. They just like the fact that you're a lawyer. So the next fact is, I don't know why this is actually an issue, but people are scared of lawyers. I don't know what you're actually afraid of. Now you're dating a lawyer, next thing you hear, oh be careful before she takes all your property and run away, before she does something in divorce and takes all your property in case you get a divorce, like what is this fear about? I don't know. Some people may not show you that they are necessarily or actually scared of you but the thing is it is somewhere in their subconscious they tell you oh I'm not scared to date a lawyer but it's in their subconscious that they are afraid of you and probably they are denying it and so it makes dating very difficult let me show let me tell you how I mean even with our parents so something a normal person outside the niche of law would do and have this interesting nice conversation and reach a compromise with someone a lawyer will have that argument or some sort of that conversation and the next thing you know is the argument is spewing off off track next thing you know is is it because you're a lawyer hey is the way we argue in court is actually very different from when you argue with a normal person. Trust me. People are smiling as if it's like, my lord, I don't think this counsel is right. My lord, may I turn it out go right like you guys can see? I'm trying to get that golden effect she had at on top of her. I'm guessing she used glitter and I don't have glitter. Anyways, wait. I'm sure every profession has their pros and cons in dating. Obviously, we know doctors are the busy ones that don't have your time. But the thing is, you know yourself and you know your profession. And most importantly, anybody coming to date, you should know what being in your profession entails. You know, especially when you have explained yourself or like what you really do. like. You're in corporate law, you're not basically into litigation, and the next minute someone tells you you like arguing because you know like how do I argue every day? Where do I argue the argument? Like well the thing I would say is as a lawyer you just know you know what to brace up for, you know how to face the impact and please if you're dating a, a lawyer or you are thinking of dating a lawyer i think you should just be a little bit more considerate you know we are not watching this video just for watching sake obviously i know we are taking one or two things home just by watching this video or aren't you taking something home look at my
my skin work that will not improve. Are you seeing the skin work I learned from you? Gloss or dry? I think I pretty I like it like this. It's it's pretty. I'm going to gloss it too. So here is the completed look. I hope that you guys all enjoyed my video. I hope it was educative. Now you know what lawyers face in the dating world. And now you know how to do better. Whether you have a lawyer as a boyfriend, a girlfriend, brother or a sister. Let me know how I did in the comment section. If I did the makeup well. Davina, if you're hearing this, tell me if I did the makeup well. Thank you for getting to this point with me. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel me questions in the comment section i could be making the next video for you so thank you so much for watching see you in my next video goodbye